Hey folks, I have another ukulele unboxing for you today, and this is the Mitchell Concert Ukulele, model number MU40C. Make sure I said that right. Yes, MU40C. This is like Guitar Center's kind of um, budget brand. They sell Mitchell ukes and guitars and mandolins and all kinds of stuff. Um, and this one, you can get it at any Guitar Center location, um, as well as on GuitarCenter.com. And it's 69, it's either 69 or 69.99, whichever, but it's about 70 bucks. Um, so, you know, it's kind of a, their, their entry level. And um, since I'd done some of the others, actually a couple of them behind me, I don't know if you can see them because they're up kind of high, but I, I did the horse and the acklot uh, fairly recently. And I decided, let's see how this one kind of stands up against them. So. I got one of these. Now they did not send this one to me complimentary like uh, some of the others. Uh, I had to actually purchase it, but I got like a crazy deal. I'm not even gonna repeat the price that I paid for this. It's insane. It's gotta be less than uh, what th than their cost on it. I just, I lucked out. But anyway, so I paid less than $30 for this. I'll just say that much. Um, and I'm sure their cost on it's gotta be higher than that. But let's go ahead and unbox it. Uh, so here we go. Here it is. I'll go ahead and take the top off the box. Maybe it's kind of tight. There we go. It's the box top. Set that to the side. Looks like it's got a little booklet in here. And this booklet seems to have... It's got some chord shapes, a little intro to ukulele. Tells you the difference. Tells you how, oh, how to play Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. That's exactly what we need. Um, some chord charts. So. Oh, and some products on the back. Anyway, uh, looks like that. And then we have the uke itself. So that's it for the box. Um, so whereas like some of the other Aklots and, and Horse and some of those come with, you know, a gig bag or a tuner or something. Looks like this one is literally just the uh, instrument itself. But let's go ahead and continue our unboxing here. It's the familiar kind of foam bag here that we've seen on, on many of these instruments. Voila, there she is. All right, so this is a lighter wood than some of the others. Um, it's got more of a kind of blonde tone, whereas like some of the others I've reviewed have had more of kind of a reddish tone or brownish tone. Um, pretty nice looking overall. It's got a matte finish just like some of the others. It has a double binding, that's a little unusual, and a binding around the neck. So well-dressed, if you will. Um, has open gear tuners where a lot of the other ones had sealed gear. Let me get that up close so you can see it. Open gear tuners there. And they have these kind of plastic buttons. You can see the Mitchell logo there. Now the Mitchell logo appears to be like silk screened on there. It does not appear to be an inlay or anything. It looks like it's just either a decal or a, or paint or something. Um, so there we go. But let's look up and down the uh, instrument here. Pretty nice. Looks like it's got a rosewood bridge and fretboard. Looking to the inside of the instrument, you can see the uh, logo there, the little logo uh, plate there. And um, let's see here, it's got a serial number and all that. I can see kerfing on the inside. No, just a teensy bit of glue squeeze out, not bad at all. A, a very, very little. And it's got some bracing across the bottom and I can see bracing on the top as well. So it looks like it's pretty well made. Uh, overall, let me just give you guys a quick look here. No strap buttons, whereas most of the import ones have had strap buttons. But overall, looks pretty nice. Standard high G tuning. Again, this is the concert scale. So uh, I'm already pretty sure it's out in tune. Alas, it's not. Oh, it's closer. It's closer than the others have been. <laughs> Let's go ahead and tune it up. Okay, that sounds a little better. So um, I got her tuned up. Pretty snappy. Um, so I looked up the tech specs on this one. The uh, top, sides, back, and neck are all said to be Lindenwood, and I'm not sure what Lindenwood is, but um, they're all made of that same material. The fretboard and bridge are said to be walnut. So I think I said rosewood earlier, that's my bad. Um, so 
Then that's the materials here. Again, we have binding on both sides of the body and fully around the fretboard, which is a little bit unusual. The, bo uh, the saddle and nut are um, faux bone, so not actual bone, uh, though they look pretty, yeah, kind of looks like almost like a Corian or something. Um, and uh, anyway, so got her tuned up. Let's, uh, oh, by the way, I didn't really pay attention. Is this a laminated top? Might be a solid top. It looks like it might be solid. Anyway, um, might be a solid top, but let's see how she sounds. It sounds really woody and warm and smooth. It's not particularly loud. I think it's quieter than some of the other ones. I probably have to do um, a shootout on these or something just, you know, for the fun of it. Um, I think I have four, four concert, yeah, I have four concert ukuleles now. Um, and this is the most expensive of the four at 70. I think the other ones are um, 60, 50. Oh my God, 60, 50, and 40. Oh, okay. Clearly, <laughs> there's a video coming. We've got to do 40, 50... Oh, anyway, back to the review. Uh, watch for that video, though. So... It seems like it's uh, it seems like it's a pretty nice uh, uke for the price. I do really like the double binding, and I like this kind of more blonde finish that it's got. It kind of looks pretty nice. It has that crown shaped headstock, which is kind of neat too. But I mean, if you're going to compare it to some of the uh, other more budget priced ukes, some of them have actual inlays and you know things like that. That you know that may or may not be important to you. I suppose it's all what you're looking for, but. Um, Overall, I mean, this is a pretty darn nice instrument for, for $69 or $70. Um, pretty cool. And again, you can get these at any guitar center, musician's friend, um, anything like that, uh, about 70 bucks. And uh, pretty neat little ukulele. So check it out. This is the Mitchell MU-40C.